Hi guys, and this is the second video of the UDK Advanced series, and as you saw in my first video, uh, well, the previous one even, um, I went into a little bit of making menus, basically I introduced you to the uh, Unreal Development side of things, and now I want to show you how you can set up your canvas for um, yeah, UDK menu usage. So, I know you uh, you can use action script free now but sometimes it doesn't go down too well with uh, UDK itself so for now we're just going to be using uh, action script 2 so I'm just going to go ahead and click that uh, there's quite a few settings that you need to change o also up here you might want to press fit in window just so you can see everything that's on here so over at file and then you want to go to publish settings you want to change uh, the flash player over here over to flash player 8 and then once you've done that it will now pick it'll now pick it up in uh, UDK itself because UDK doesn't support flash player uh, 10.2 10 for example so you won't see much difference between 8 and 10 um, as you saw I, I showed you a menu I made in flash player 8 it's really easy and simple so I'm just going to go ahead and press OK so now we have our blank canvas this is what your menu is going to look like uh, what you see it's all white in the background you don't need to worry about that but I'm gonna use a darker color just because I'm gonna have like a nice dark background in UDK uh, so yeah I'm gonna go for a nice black okay so uh, one thing you want to make sure you always save your files in the appropriate folder so you wanna go and head over to your UDK folder so this Jeff C, UDK, then whatever version you're using. I'm going to be using the uh, September 2011 version for these videos. And we go to UDK game and then flash. And then under the flash file, you want to make sure you press right, right click, new, new folder. Uh, you can't import SWF unless they're in a folder in the flash directory. And I'm just going to call this YouTube video series. Uh, just like that and then open it up and I'm going to save this as menu well main menu even there we go and then we we'll go ahead and press save okay now we've got that we want to be able to test out our menu and basically see what's going on and how it's going to look exactly in UDK so what we're going to do is we're going to install the scale form GFX movie player add-on so you want to go over to help and then manage extensions I'm just gonna give that a second to come up here okay and over here you can see I've already got one here but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to install it yourself um, the uh, the extension comes with UDK itself so you wanna go over to the uh, directory directory you wanna go to binaries GFX click tools and then scale form click over here and then go ahead and open that and then you'll see you'll get this nice like terms of agreement thing it's a nice read but you don't really need to read it go ahead and press accept do you want to remove the following sessions and continue you won't get that because you won't have it already but I do and then and now it's been installed what you want to do is you want to close up uh, you want to close this up don't worry you should have saved it already and then you want to open up Adobe Flash again so there we go and I'm just gonna give it a second to load up here okay now we've got Flash open again we wanna go ahead and just open up that file we've made already so I'm just gonna open it up and you'll see this nice black screen from earlier don't worry it's nothing bad there's a few settings you're gonna change as well you want to change the FPS to 30 I know some of you are probably thinking why don't you have it like 60 100 or something like that flash uh, flash documents aren't very CPU intensive but it's kinda of the opposite uh, they can actually slow down your PC by a fair amount also um, over here we got size you can change that to 1920 by 1080 that's what most games are going to be running at like in 1080p uh, and basically if you have like 
like I don't know uh, awkward screen resolution let's say 100 by 120 or something you might get slight uh, letterboxing effects and you don't want that so I'm just going to go ahead and change that back to 1920 by 1080 okay so you're going to want to start off by uh, I don't know basically making your background maybe even adding in your logo or some text just in the background that's really simple uh, you know what, just for now I'm going to add in some text as you can see here we've got like a nice little flash timeline and we're using a layer system as well so I'm going to go ahead and click that with the text tool I'm going to change the text color to white so I can see it nice and easily and I'm going to change the text size something like 100 would be nice and appropriate okay so I'm just going to I'm just gonna write main menu in here. You can use custom fonts and stuff like that. You can. It's nice and simple. So let's just go do that now. And then I'm gonna change it to a nice little font that I've used before. Uh, there is Protoculture. You can, if you install fonts from uh, I don't know, let's say defont.com, uh, it will Flash will pick it up and it'll work perfectly fine. And even when you put the SWF file into UDK, it will be all nice and cool and uh, you know, good looking even. Okay, you and now I'm gonna go ahead and let's just I'm gonna import a texture. Well, not a texture, but a nice little image that is from a game that I'm working on. Is if any of you want to know what that is, it's called Left to Rot. Uh, you'll probably see some gameplay on my channel sometime soon. Uh, yeah, in about two, three weeks' time, they've got some contractors out and they've got something cool lined up. Uh, and basically, me and the well CEO CEO of the company can be playing some multiplayer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can find that file. Okay, so okay, so I've got a nice little I've got a nice little background now. I mean I'm going to send that to the back so it's behind my text so I'm just going to go ahead and right click arrange and then send to back and then I'm going to change the size of this just so it fits on the canvas properly 1920 by 1080 and then I'm just going to set the positions of those to zero okay so now we've got like a nice uh, main menu even but you're probably thinking it doesn't do anything what's the point well, that's where we're going to do some other stuff with it now. Also, whenever you import a picture, like a JPEG or a PNG, you want to go ahead and go to the library and change the properties on that. So, it's right-click, properties, and you'll see over here there's a little button that says allow smoothing. You want to make sure that is on, and you want to make sure the compression is lossless PNG because you might get some nice image distortion and stuff like that if you don't do otherwise also if you haven't set it to lossless PNG it just won't show up in UDK at all so okay let's just go to lossless PNG and press OK also we can test it out in that um, in that little extension man uh, in that little extension that we installed earlier so I'm just gonna go to uh, other panels if I can find it there we go and then we've got our scale form launcher and there we go so I'm just gonna go ahead and just drop this up here it's nice and easy to use you might want to add some things in so let's just go press plus and what we want to do with this is we want to locate uh, the file in the UDK folder so it's gonna be in the same place UDK binaries GFX and then FX media player the FX media player is what it will be opening it in so I'm going to go ahead and press OK Do it, uh, maybe become unresponsive don't worry it's not going to and uh, yeah and then oh crap ok and now we've got our skill form launcher up, up there so if you just go ahead and press this big button here the test with FX media player you will get like a preview of what it's going to look like in exactly in UDK. Uh, you don't need to worry about this little scale form GFX uh, watermark at the bottom, that won't be there. That's got nothing to do with the SWF file. Uh, you can see it's slightly letterbox, but you won't see that in UDK. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that up. 
So now you've got like the general concept in here of how you can make a menu. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, of how you can make a menu and uh, what it, and testing it out and setting it up in Adobe Flash. Uh, that's about all you need to know really for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna go over making some buttons with like rollover effects in uh, Adobe um, Photoshop and uh, and then importing them into uh, Adobe Flash and like and then setting them up to actually do functions like F, uh, FS commands you can get FS full, uh, callback from them so you can then hook that up to opening up other SWFs or even exiting the game adding bots or opening maps and stuff like that so yeah that's about all I wanted to show you for this video comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one in a, a couple of hours time it should be up then goodbye